Hello everyone! Welcome to Cognitive Heroes Code in class. Today I'm going to show you how to use the web manifest so that you can have... well let me just show you. If I go over here to Chromium, this doesn't work on Firefox. Web manifest is supported, but Firefox does not have this functionality. So if I go over here, I hit more, then I hit more tools, and I choose create shortcut. You will see that right here it's got a little it's got a little icon that says it's an icon and it's got the name of the app right there this is done by the web manifest and if you check this box it says open as window and click create it basically turns it into an app it's got its own window with whatever name you put in the manifest with whatever taskbar I'm sorry I've been using Windows and Linux a lot this week. Dock icon you like. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. All right. So to get started, pop open your text editor or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. Today I'm going to be using VS Code. Actually, I might start just using VS Code for my videos now. Tell me what you think. It's more efficient and I've been using it for my projects for a long time. I recommend it. Also look up Adam if you're new to finding an editor. Anyway, start by making a new file. Call it whatever you want, but make it an HTML file. I'm just going to call it web underscore manifest dot HTML since that's what we're demonstrating today. And of course, just start with the doc type HTML tag. Super convenient. Look at that. It just works. And now I'm just going to make an H1 to have something to display on the screen. This can be anything. I'm just going to hello world. And that is all we need to worry about for now. Now, make a new file. You can also call it whatever you want. And this file is a JSON text file. So if you want, you can have the extension .json. That's what I'm going to do. But web manifests are actually supposed to have the .web manifest extension or something like that. But most browsers will accept whatever. So I'm going to call it manifest.json. You can call it manifest.webmanifest, or you can call it egg ham sandwich dot json okay now of course you want to open your brackets right very standard here and then the first property that we need to worry about is the name of the app so you need two for this you need short name and name they can be the same so for short name it's in quotes short underscore name then outside of quotes, colon, and then in quotes again, the short name of your app. I'm going to call it manifest. Now, after the quotes, add a comma, and then in quotes again, do name. I can't type. Colon, outside of the quotes again, and then in the quotes, the long name of your app. Or if your app's name is short, then just use the same thing as the short name, but mine's long, so I'm in web manifest. Super long name here. Uh, next, in quotes again, you're, you're getting the deal. You put a comma at the end of the line. I'm not going to keep saying this over and over. You probably want to do icons. So, icons. And then outside of quotes, colon. And then, no quotes this time open square brackets and now inside you can open a new one of these thingies new regular brackets and then inside of those you can put and you do this for each icon you have you want to have multiple icon sizes right now I'm just going to be doing a 192 by 192 and a 512 by 512 icon you can go like really tiny to really huge icon sizes it doesn't really matter. I just do 512 and 192, and it works. So for the first one, src colon, and then in quotes, I think this is pretty obvious, 
the link to the file. So I'm going to be just using the oak clicker icons because they're all set up. HTTPS colon slash slash and then a comma and then why is this all screwed up? I don't know what you're doing. There we go. Now we will do type in quotes again colon and then this is the mime type of the file so since mine is a PNG icon the mime type is image slash PNG if it were to be like a JPEG I think it's image slash JPEG or something like that keep that in mind and then finally size colon and then in quotes again whatever the size is. So mine is 192 by 192 pixels, so 192 x 192. That's it. Now we can add a comma at the end of this because this is an array and copy it, paste it, and change the stuff. So my 512 icon, it's just 512.png and then I just gotta change this to 512 and also this one to 512 and delete that comma there so that it's not you know okay next we add another comma we add more quotation marks and now start URL that's another popular one because if you're making a PWA you want a page to be the home page you don't want it to just open a random page from your site so of course for us for me anyway it's slash web underscore web underscore manifest dot html you have to do a root relative path so slash web manifest dot html keep that in mind and then next background color because if your app has a specific background color you want the splash screen that's going to be automatically generated by the browser in this case just chrome it's the only one that does it right now in Android. Android makes splash screens too. You want it to be the right color. So let me just pick a random color. Now, background. What the heck? What's going on? What? And I don't want to save that. Okay. Background underscore color colon and then in quotes. There's your color. Paste it in and make sure you put the hash in front of it so that it's a nose you know you know next orientation this is especially important for mobile it doesn't really matter on desktop because there's only one orientation most of the time but orientation this is useful if your app you know it's like the layout is set up in a way that you only want to be using it up and down or left and right. Like if it's a game, you probably want it left and right. Except in the case of Oak Clicker. That's weird though. Oak Clicker is a weird game. So I'm going to choose Portrait. Because I want it to be Portrait, okay? But you can choose Landscape. Now then Display. That's another property that's important. You probably want this to be standalone. If you're using a web manifest, you probably want it to be standalone, which means that it will open as a new window. Now, Chrome doesn't do this automatically right now, but you want to have this property because maybe one day it will. Next, scope. Now I believe this is related to the way we put this path here. So if you're putting your paths in the way I just did, just put in quotes a slash. That does the job. Basically if you're doing a bunch of repetitive paths that are in a separate folder then you probably want to do like slash and then that folder slash. But we don't need to worry about that here because it's in the same folder as the one file we're referencing that's actually on the same, you know, computer. And then finally, this is the, the last important one for me, is theme underscore color. This is, it is the 
other color in your theme. So let's just make it purple. Okay. Paste that in. That's the other color that we're using. Add a comma. Outside the quotes. Yes, okay. Now there's also another important property. I was wrong. This was the second to last one. I, I just remembered. The description property. Which is pretty self-explanatory. I, I would assume it is a description of your app. So here we go. Uh, it says, hello world, in bold text, super useful. And the icons are out clicker. OK, we're good. Now there's a whole bunch of other properties. You can check it on MDN right here. I can put a link in the description and you know, all this stuff. Don't worry about these. Uh, I just installed VS Code on this computer because I usually don't use this one for coding. So you know, anyway, now we have gotten to the most important part, actually testing it. So now we can go into the HTML file, and we need to connect it to the manifest. The manifest just doesn't float around, you know. So add in a link tag. Link, uh, not in all caps. Well, I think it works in all caps, but don't do it. That's, that's don't do it. In fact, the doc type shouldn't be in all caps either. Okay, link rel equals manifest. href equals and in quotes manifest.json that's it don't close the tag there these are weird all right now we can open it with live server and this opens in firefox but of course i can just copy this and go over to chrome yum chromium yes not chrome and here's our beautiful app we've spent months of work on but look at this let's go to more tools and create shortcut and well look at that it says web manifest and it's got an icon and we can pick open his window and click create and then it closes that and then it opens here and whoa look it's like its whole own app except it's not really amazing thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe buy my merch i made a podcast app it's called listener it's not great because the database is tiny. Uh, have fun. Oh, actually, before you go, very important, very important here. Do you think, leave your answer in the comments, do you think that it would be useful, something that you would like to see on this YouTube channel, a tutorial series for beginners on how to make a clicker game where you learn a bunch of JavaScript and then you make a clicker game. If you think that this would be a useful tutorial, leave a comment. I got one comment recommending it. I thought it was a good idea, kind of like the donut thing with Blender. Talk about it. Bye.